Santa Clara, Bay Area professional sports teams including the Oakland Raiders, San Francisco 49ers, Oakland as San Jose Earthquakes, San Francisco Giants, San Jose Sharks and the Golden State Warriors today announced a collective donation of $450,000 to support North Bay fire relief efforts. The teams urge all of their fans to contribute to the effort. The teams have established a UCaring site www.ucaring.com fire relief for fans to donate whatever they can to support the victims of these devastating fires. Alternatively, Bay Area fans who would like to contribute via text to relief efforts can text Red Cross to 90,999 to give $10 to American Red Cross Disaster Relief. Firefighters from across California and neighboring states are working feverishly to contain the fires that have resulted in multiple casualties and destroyed more than 2,000 structures. The North Bay fires, which started on Sunday, October 8, are some of the most destructive wildfires in California history, where 17 fires have raged across parts of four counties. The Raiders family expresses our deepest concern for everyone affected by the North Bay fires, said Raiders President Mark Bedane. The Raiders have held training camp in Napa for the past 22 seasons and have formed a strong bond with communities in Napa and Sonoma counties. The Silver and Black ask the entire Raider Nation to help spread the word on how everyone can assist the region in its recovery. The North Bay fires have devastated families, homes, businesses, and schools across the region, and as first responders work tirelessly to put out the fires and aid those in need, Bay Area sports teams are unified in supporting relief efforts, said 49ers CEO Jed York. Although we can never replace what was lost, together we can help those impacted by the fires rebuild. When a tragedy hits this close to home, we feel it's our duty to get involved and to help our community and those who have been impacted, said as President Dave Caval. We are proud to team up with all of the Bay Area professional sports teams to support North Bay disaster relief efforts. The world has faced an unimaginable amount of tragedy and devastation in the past few months and the fires in the North Bay hit particularly close to home, said Earthquakes President Tom Fox. We're happy to do our part, along with the other pro teams in the region, to help rebuild our community stronger than ever. We want all the communities affected by these horrific fires to know the Giants and all of the Bay Area teams are here to support you as you recover and rebuild in the days, weeks and months ahead, said Giants President and CEO Larry Bear. You are part of our family and we are holding all of you close to our hearts. It is devastating to witness a region dedicated to the hospitality, friendliness, and community experience such loss, said Sharks coup John Tortora. These are friends, family members, individuals and businesses who have a unique sense of solidarity and we generously will support relief and recovery efforts as they navigate this tragic time. The North Bay is a large part of our Warriors family and we're devastated by what they are enduring at this time, said Warriors President and coup Rick Welts. We are joining forces with the rest of our sports community to help relief efforts and encourage any fans who are able to help by donating as well. Media Services Oakland in the 19 days since he expressed zero interest in visiting a White House occupied by Donald Trump, Stephen Curry has seen the best and worst of America through the most accessible lenses we have. Social media, you should go look at my mentions, Curry said Wednesday when I asked about the response to comments he made nearly three weeks ago. It's pretty positive. Don't get it twisted. Those last three words were basic sarcasm made transparent by Curry's chuckle. Yes, there was overwhelming support from fans, celebrities, Curry's NBA brethren and athletes beyond basketball. But the two-time MVP, who also happens to be among the sports world's most committed philanthropists, was subjected to waves of insults, anger and dissent. Curry was referred to as, among other things, ignorant. He was described as a millionaire punk as un-American. And, of course, he was labeled a racist. Never in his eight-year NBA career has Curry, a devout Christian with a spotless image, been subjected to such blowback from a public that, for the most part, adores him and considers him a role model. Fans of opposing NBA teams aside, if you didn't like, or at least, appreciate the human being that is Stephen Curry, you probably kicked puppies. Or carried a scowl and a torch. Curry is acutely aware that his level on the global popularity meter generally ranged between ultra-high and insane. No matter, principles are at stake and he has more than a few. Which is why even as an active player, Curry is walking a socio-political path Michael Jordan, the greatest sports legend of the past 25 years, wouldn't dare. Even as the face of a major sports apparel company Under Armour and an automobile brand Infinity, Curry is willing to alienate a segment of the marketplace. I'm well aware that, in this world, there's no way you can please everybody and there's no reason that you should want to, Curry said.
I'm very comfortable understanding that and not letting that affect my view or my stance. It was eight months ago that Curry described Trump as an ass. He was among the first group of athletes to speak out unapologetically against the man who was voted into office despite admissions of sexual assault, mocking the disabled, taunting POWs and urging his supporters to resort to violence. It was 19 days ago that Curry said he didn't want to go to the White House, a statement that prompted Trump to withdraw an invitation never delivered. Curry has seen and heard plenty. He's keenly aware of the ongoing conflict between Trump and the NFL, and he knows there is no end in sight. Curry's promise to himself seems to be to stay consistent and on message, regardless of derisive or divisive reaction. Especially with the spotlight I'm under, and my teammates are under, and anybody who is in front of the public eye, he said. We're kind of subject to that. You've got to not let that shake your confidence. So bring on the insults and the hate. Curry knows they're coming. He isn't going anywhere. He will continue to play basketball and use his platform to express his convictions. He has planted his flag, so to speak, and is prepared to stand by it. It's usually the ones that want to speak out the most usually find me on there, Curry said of social media platforms. But I don't pay him no mind. The conversation is still going, and that's a powerful thing. That's what it's all about. First things being first, her first name is Kareth. Not Carrie, not Karadith and definitely not Keith, despite any stubborn insistences of your autocorrect function. She is Kareth Burke, signed off the free agent market by the NBC Sports Bay Area team as part of its baseline-to-baseline -baseline coverage of the reigning NBA champion Golden State Warriors. Burke will serve as sideline reporter for all Warriors games by NBC Sports Bay Area. In addition to providing in-game interviews and updates, she will offer insight and analysis on various other platforms, including Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter. Having spent more than a decade in news and sports on both coasts, Burke arrives with solid credentials, including four years at Sportsnet New York SNY, where she covered the UConn women's basketball team and hosted the Gino Arima show. Bork covered women's basketball, primarily as a sideline reporter, during NBC's coverage of the 2016 Rio Olympic Games. The Bay Area resident also is familiar with the NBA, the Warriors in particular, and last season filled in as Warriors sideline reporter for two games on NBC Sports Bay Area. It's just basketball, Burke says. I know this game. The players might be celebrities, but they're just people. I think the fact that I don't put anybody on a pedestal I don't really fangirl over anybody it's just people in a sport I've covered for years. That's the way I look at it. I think that's the healthiest way to look at it. That doesn't mean I don't know their popularity and how much they're loved. Bork believes sports figures have the right, if not an obligation, to utilize their platform to address social issues, describing such participation not as social activism but as common freaking sense. A graduate of the Murrow College of Communication at Washington State University the same school attended by Warriors All-Star guard Clay Thompson Burke occasionally plays basketball, enjoys hockey and college football but insists the only teams she actively roots for are the Cougars.